all them kind of on pins and needles. They said it was going to be delivered yesterday, and it was not, and I am sitting here anxiously awaiting my new base. Yes, I'm getting another one. I'll explain in a second, briefly. But I got a new base coming. It's a GNL CLF series, American-made L1000, which is like a P base on steroids, so they say. And uh, it's beautiful. It's a swamp ash body. I won't go into all that. We'll wait and see it. The whole story is like, I'm still in that experimental place. I mean, this is a lot like when you get into hammocks. You don't know what kind of hammock you want yet. Uh, you know, you have to get one, try it, and then you start looking around going, maybe I want an 11 foot, maybe I want a 10 foot, maybe I like shorter, maybe I want a double layer, maybe I want a single layer. Gah! I love the feeling of being excited. Ah, uh, yeah, I pretty much got this base. Some people go, what's, uh, what's the body made of? It's made of swamp ash. It's the Sire base that I bought about a month ago. It was a red base. I did a little short video on it. It was a jazz base, and it was a great base. But I let a friend borrow it to try. He's a bass player. He loved it. And then I got to thinking when I was mulling getting this one and had looked at, had put it in the uh, cart at least 20 times and taken it out and dreamt about it and everything and pondered why I wanted it. I said, hey man, you want to buy that Sire? Sell it to you for what I got it for, and I, it was a demo, as is this, so I got a good buy, so he bought that. So that's what the Sire is, it's onto a good home. I'm finding in my journey that I'm kind of a P-Bass guy, but I'll touch on these points later, but it's sort of funny now, all three bases I have, my Fender P-Bass, my Music Man, it's a Sterling by Music Man, made in Indonesia, my Fender's made in USA, this is made in USA in Fullerton, California, Leo Fender's last company. They're all connected to Leo Fender. So that's saying something. That's saying something. Another box. Okay, here we go. I see a case. A hard shell case. These days, when you get an instrument in a hard shell case like this, you know you bought a high-end, top-quality instrument. This is one of the reasons it's a demo. It has a little nick in the case right there. Really not that bad. That'll be an easy fix. See, let's put that in there and glue it. Put a little dab of black paint. Guitars by Leo. I like little touches like that. I imagine it's still going to be a little discount. Ho, 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 ho! Oh! Ooh! Wow! Wow! Man! This is certifying it got the 55 point inspection. Oh, goodness. Look at that MFD pickup. That's a monster. Swamp ash. Maple. Ooh. I like the case because it has little snaps. That's the original case company. That's a little tool for adjusting the truss rod. Whoa! Yeah, man! Oh, I am so excited. It's their sweet way of saying thank you. I always love that they have the candy bag. Some mints, root beer, Laffy Taffy, Tootsie Roll, and pull my dental workout and fruit thing. Love that. That's huge to me. So when I lift it up and peek under, oh, has some custom build specifications, some stuff there. So this just gives you all the specs swamp ash body, finish, natural. Gloss urethane, saddle lock bridge, which is really cool. There's a little Allen key there that'll hold all your bridge pieces together. Black pearl dots on there. Ooh, those are cool looking. All right, here's the other defect, apparently, is there's a little tiny nick right there. I got this thing for a couple of hundred bucks cheaper just because of that little nick. And apparently, somewhere here, and I can't seem to really, really find it. There's a, you gotta look hard, there's a little crack in the finish right down here by the neck, where the neck joins the body. 
$208 cheaper with the nick on the case and those two little nicks. Oh yeah, you know sometimes when you hold stuff, you know you're just standing there holding it and it feels like quality. God, that's what this feels like. Look at that. You know, I know that you're, <laughs> I know you're not as excited about this as me, and I watch a lot of people get their new bases. You know, ever since I started going down the base highway, and the one thing I watch is going, they are so excited. GNL has what they call the Tribute Series, and those are their bases made in, um, I think they're made in, oh gosh, either Korea or Indonesia. And they're supposed to be really good, but I wanted the American made because the Tribute Series has this little point that comes out. I like this classic sort of headstock. It's a little thing. You know, I like the p base cut down here rather than the slinky jazz cut. Will I love this base in two weeks or a month? I don't know. Do I love that it's got this little cut, the belly cut there, so when you're leaning on it, man, it leans up on you real nice? Ooh, I know I love that. Do I love saying swamp ash? Yeah, I do. Do I love those black pearl inlays? Yeah, I do. And then this is the one base that I have that has a maple neck. Let me explain that. I never knew that made a difference, but maple gives a different sound than like my, uh, my music man that has a rosewood. You can see the darker color of the fretboard there. And my P-Base, that has rosewood too. And this is hard maple. So I wanted, I wanted hard maple because I haven't really, you know, haven't really had the time to focus on is there a difference in sound. And it'll be subtle like all things bass. Leo Fender's first iteration, the P-Base. Leo Fender's Second iteration, the short stint after CBS bought Fender, and he started Music Man, and then GNL. CLF first, then it became G GNL, and a lot of letters. Thanks for bearing with me. Uh, I know most of you come here for hammocks, and I'm approaching this whole bass journey like I did when I first got into hammocks. Like, first hammock you get is usually not the hammock that you end up in. Woo, buddy! GNL, let's plug this thing in and tune it up. All right, on the toggle down here, all the way up is parallel. The middle position, single coil, and all the way down. Now we're in OMG mode, and that sounds like what it means. <laughs> 